Welcome back. When we left off, I had just bought a fancy new hat and a swanky pair of shoes. But to make sure I had enough money for both, I rounded their prices to the nearest ten. How did I do that? Well, let's take a closer look. When we talk about rounding to the nearest 10, what we are really asking is, on a number line, would this number be closer to the 10 before it, or the 10 after it? So let's take a look at our shoes. They cost us 17 euro. To round this to the nearest 10, we have to ask ourselves that question. Is it nearer to the 10 before it, which is 10, or is it nearer to the 10? after it, which is 20. Well, let's place it on the number line to check. So there are only one, two, three jumps to get up to 20, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jumps down to 10. So we know that it must be nearer to 20. Let's try a few other numbers. How about that hat? That one was uh, 34 euro. The 10 before 34 is 30. And the 10 after 34 is 40. So let's place that one on the number line. So 1, 2, 3, 4 jumps down to 30. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 jumps up to 40. So we know that it's closer to 30 as there was much less jumps that time. So it's going to round down. What about a number like 65? When we place that one on the number line, we can see that it's not nearer to 60 or to 70. In fact, it's exactly in the middle. With 5 jumps both ways. So what do we do? Well, we always round the number 5 up, and here's how you're going to remember that. Picture this, you leave your house to go to the shop, which is exactly 10 steps away. You take exactly 5 steps, and suddenly it starts to lash rain. Now you have no umbrella, and you're getting absolutely soaked. So, are you going to waste time turning around and going back to your house? Or will you just keep on going towards the shop? Well, of course, you'd keep on going. So when we see five, we are always going to keep on going up to the next ten by rounding up. So that's all well and good, but we still haven't answered that question we had at the start. How do we round a number like 3,671 to the nearest ten, hundred and thousand? Well, now that you know the basics, it's pretty simple. Head on over to the next video and we're going to have a look at how we write this down.